Anytime a young quarterback with tons of potential plays in the NFL, every snap he takes is analyzed and criticized. The fans are impatient, self-employed analysts are talking the topic to death, and during all this some 22-year-old is trying to find his footing in one of the toughest leagues in all of sports. Everybody's trying to prove somebody wrong, have the next hot take, and chase attention. You can probably tell already what side of this argument I'm on. It is too early to judge Anthony Richardson. I know that some people are going to say that I'm just making excuses and blindly supporting my franchise quarterback, but in my opinion, mistaking context for an excuse is just kind of a dick move. So here is why I think it's too early to judge Anthony Richardson. Obviously, there's the age and inexperience. Anthony's 22 years old, and he's played seven games in the NFL. He also only played 24 games back in college. Overall, Anthony's really young, and quarterback is the most difficult position to be young at, especially when a whole franchise is leaning on you. But that's the type of pressure you need to learn how to perform under. And I do think Anthony wants that pressure. He wants to play in the big games. He just tries to force it too much. It's why you see him having success with those deep balls, but then struggling with 5 to 10 yard passes. And that's another big criticism of Anthony. Shorter throws are more mental, have smaller windows because more defenders are in the area, and throws to receivers need to have more consistency to them. It's easy to get excited and overthrow a guy, or be unsure of a pass and underthrow a guy. You then have the turnovers, interceptions, and fumbles, mostly due to balls being forced where they shouldn't go, pause, and Anthony trying to play hero ball at the wrong time. He wants to make the big play and keep the drive alive, so he chucks a pass to the best option at the time, like me playing Madden. That's the type of thing that just needs coaching and time. It's a habit that can be unlearned, but there's going to be some growing pains along the way. That type of stuff isn't always in a quarterback's hands. How many times have we seen a guy struggle because he's in the wrong system with the wrong coaches? Anthony has also gotten really unlucky with his receivers dropping balls and tipping a few passes for interceptions. You also have the usual problem for any new quarterback with communication on option routes, which has hurt Anthony multiple times this year. Another stat that people love to harp on is Anthony's completion percentage, which is low, I'm not arguing that it's not. But Anthony's averaging 8 yards per completion, which is top 10 in the NFL while ranking in the 20s for attempts. What I'm trying to get at is Anthony doesn't get as many attempts as other quarterbacks, but is for the most part making his touches count. Now, part of the reason he doesn't get as many chances to throw is because of the Colts' inability to get first downs and keep drives alive, but once Anthony starts hitting those checkdowns, he will have longer drives and better completion percentages. It's just too early to judge him on this stuff. If you're still on the fence about if Anthony Richardson could be a good quarterback or not, let me ask you something. What separates a franchise quarterback from a game manager? I'm sure a few things come to mind. One of those things being accurate on deep passes downfield, making those explosive plays when you need them to win a game. They also need to be able to move the chains with their legs and sometimes be willing to take a few hits to win, even if they're not the most mobile quarterback in the world. Leadership abilities are another big part of being a franchise guy. Overall, it's just your ability to make things happen, which is 100% something Anthony Richardson can do. He's shown all the qualities you want in a superstar quarterback. He just struggles with the simple stuff, as weird as that sounds. If I'm a coach, I would much rather teach a guy how to hit a receiver on a five yard out than a go route 50 or more yards downfield. And you know what? For those of you thinking that I'm making excuses, Anthony might just agree with you on that. He always takes accountability for his mistakes and understands he needs to get better. I can't even necessarily articulate why I think he will get it together and get better. I just feel like he will. All of his problems are fixable with practice. He doesn't have any off the field problems, no mechanical issues that need fixed. He's very versatile. I mean, if I'm wrong on this one, I'm just willing to accept that. But I really don't think I am. I believe in this dude and I think he could be great for us. I'm willing to put that opinion out there and take the heat if I miss on this one. Because when it comes down to it, 
I want to see the guy do well for the sake of his own career and the career of everyone around him. He isn't perfect, he makes mistakes, and absolutely has some head shaking mistakes from time to time. I just believe that he can limit those mistakes and make the adjustments necessary to become a good quarterback in this league. I know that with a lot of young athletes, when they struggle at first, everybody says, hey, it's just the start, it's just the beginning, don't get frustrated. I mean, as Pacers fans, we did that with Chris Duarte. As Tigers fans, at the start of Spencer Torkelson's career, it was kind of like that. The start of Riley Green's career, it was like that. Um, as Red Wings fans, we did the same thing with Lucas Raymond, kind of. Um, but yeah, like a lot of young players, we do this thing where we're like, hey, it's too early to judge them, so don't get too outraged. And that works out with, with like varying degrees of success. Like sometimes we end up being right in the case of kind of Spencer Torkelson, Lucas Raymond. Then sometimes we end up being wrong, like Chris Duarte. So this is just another case of that. And I know it's frustrating to hear because if you're frustrated with Anthony Richardson and you don't believe in him, just saying, hey, wait, he's young. It doesn't, that, that, that's not like quantifiable. That's not, it's nothing physical that you could see or prove that it's even gonna work out in the future. So I understand why people aren't really satisfied with that response. But the only way to help a quarterback is give him more reps, especially with Anthony's situation, with what he struggles with. The only way to help is just give him more reps. Keep on being confident in him. Give him confidence. Once he loses his confidence, that's when it's over. When he's no longer confident in himself, that is really when things are going to go wrong. But right now, we need to stay confident in him. He needs to be confident in himself. He needs to believe that he can get better and that he can improve and that he can make those throws. That is the big thing here. That's why we shouldn't overreact and go crazy. Maybe this doesn't work out. Maybe Anthony Richardson is a bust and doesn't get better than this. But we're never going to know if we don't play the guy, and if we don't be confident in the guy. We have to support him because, I mean, imagine trying to make a name for yourself in the NFL and everybody's telling you that you suck. You're going to suck. But if you're trying to make a name for yourself in the NFL and you're a young, impressionable quarterback and everyone tells you you're going to be great, now I think you've got a lot better of a chance of being great. It doesn't guarantee that you will be, but you've got a lot better of a chance of being great in that situation. Because all the stuff that he has problems with, it's fixable. It's the easy stuff. It is the stuff that you can be coached on. It is the stuff that quarterbacks, coaches, and offensive coordinators, and even our head coach, who was once a quarterback, can help with. It's footwork, it's squaring your, your shoulders to the line of scrimmage, it's hitting those five yard outs, those slant routes. That type of stuff is fixable. You just gotta rep it out, you gotta coach it, that's all there is to it. It's not like there's some big mechanical issue with his throwing motion, or he has a noodle for an arm, or mentally he's all messed up, or off the field he's doing crazy stuff. It is just he has trouble hitting 10 yard intermediate short routes. That's all there is to it right now. It's just confidence. It's just teaching him. It's all we gotta do. It sounds simple, but it isn't, and there's a chance that it doesn't work out, but we're not gonna know unless we put him out there and we coach him and we give him opportunities. So I'm gonna keep on having faith in the dude, no matter how frustrated I get, because I wanna show my support for him so that he still has confidence that he can do it, because quarterback is a very mental position just as much as it is physical. So we gotta keep his mental all good. But anyways, I'm Limitless Pulls. I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, but you get right. Nigga, put it in the blender. Hell yeah, I'm going stop. Put that on the chicken tender. It's like the beef with energy and water like Kimber. Hey, turning, looking like dinner. It's like I got the bag, boy or girl. <laughs> <laughs>